Today class you are going to learn about the zero crossing detectors. So zero crossing detector first before we go for that one we will going to just recap about that is sigma trigger circuits. It is one of the closed loop of the operational amplifier. But here is what about comparison with the comparison compare with the normal closed loop. So here is the output is connected to the plus terminals. So normal closed loop means output is connected to the minus terminal. So here is sigma trigger means it is connected to the plus terminal. Okay. So next one is a zero crossing detector. Zero crossing detector means the same circuit diagram. Just you will going to remove this resistance. So once you will going to remove the resistance, you will going to get it about that zero crossing detector. See that one, the same circuit diagrams. It is showing you for that zero crossing detectors. So input, so input is connected to the minus same minus terminals. Okay, it is a inverting terminal through the one clo ohm resistance. Another one is a plus terminal three terminal. It is connected to that one clo ohm to the ground. Another one is output is connected to that CRO. So previously the same circuit, but output is a one resistance through. It is connected to this point. So now that resistance is removed. If it is resistance is removed, it means it is called open loop system. So open loop one of the application is called a zero crossing detector. So zero crossing detector means what is the waveform? So input is sinusoidal input is you are giving. So whenever is a zero is crossed, the output is produced. So output is produced across zero and pi. So here is a input is giving to that minus terminal. So it's just opposite. So plus means here is output is a minus. So like it is a produced. Okay, this is output. So here is a input. So here is a output. So 0 to pi. So like it is a square waveform. So previously that one also square waveform. So now it is also square waveform is a produce. So output of the operational amplifier is a square waveform. Okay, so it will going to produce on that one. Okay, so let's uh, you will going to see that one. This is sigma trigger circuit. Just we will going to remove the resistance. So once the resistance is removed, so then we will going to see about that one. So zero crossing detectors. Okay, so this is sigma trigger circuit diagram. Okay, so hold down. So we'll go to there are three resistances there. One resistance is we need to remove. So which resistance we need to remove? The sixth resistance, sixth pin. So this is a pin number sixth resistance we need to remove. So just the okay just we will going to open the connection of the sixth pin. So the sixth pin side is the connection is open. So you can see that one. So pin number sixth side is open. So that's all. The sigma sigma trigger into that zero crossing detector is coming. So output of the resistance is removed. Okay, zero crossing detectors. So what is that one? Same. See that one frequency 1.3. Okay, kilohertz is there. So your waveform. This is about your waveform. Okay. So this is your waveform is producing. Okay. If I will going to vary the frequency, you will going to watch about that waveform. So it is a variations. So I will going to reduce the frequency. So I am going to reduce. If I will going to increase the frequency, it's a 1 kilohertz, 1.2, 1.3, 1.8, 2, 2.1, 2 2.2. Like it is, I will going to increase the kilohertz frequency of the input. It will going to vary it. Okay. So that's all zero crossing detectors. Okay. So here is the input. Input is connected to which terminal? Either plus terminal or minus terminals. It is connected to that minus terminal, pin number two. <coughs> so that's why it is coming for that one. Whenever the plus is, whenever the sinusoidal plus means the output is minus. We'll see next video. Just we'll going to give the input source on the plus terminal. Instead of minus, we'll going to give the input terminal on the plus terminals. Thank you.